batting third, playing right field, number 21, Roberto Clemente. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Clemente Collector. First off, I just want to thank you guys for coming in. I think you're really going to enjoy this video. I really wanted to put together something where I showed Clemente base cards that were affordable and that I feel like every baseball collector should own because of how affordable they are and how iconic they are. So I, I figured, you know, I do more research on, you know, Clemente than most because, you know, I really focus probably 90% of my collecting on him. So why not try to share some of that knowledge with other people? So I put together a presentation to show you guys where I show five base Clemente cards that are extremely affordable, in my opinion, and that you as a collector should really consider buying. So I hope you guys stay till the end of this. All right. So the first the first Clemente card I think that Clemente uh, fans should own is the 1968 Topps uh, card 150. And I'm going to give you guys a breakdown of each of these cards in a SGC1, an SGC3, and an SGC5. Just to give you an idea of the price ranges. And um, I'll walk you through it as we go through each card. So the 68, um, and these are all recent eBay auction sales. And a PSA 2, because there wasn't any PSA 1 recent sales, uh, $28 for this card, um, which is extremely low. I think that's... That's an amazing buy for anybody who's a baseball fan. Next is the SGC3. It is $70. And then um, last is the SGC5. It went for $85 plus shipping. Um, I just, I personally love this card. I love the look of the, I guess you would call it canvas. I love, I love how they did that with uh, the 1968 set. Uh, Clemente looks like he's just ready to smash the ball. He just looks mad. Um, you know, I just, I think it's a great card, especially for the price. I actually own, um, I actually own the, uh, a 5.5 in SGC of it. I just, uh, I, I love this card and I wanted to get a better grade for how affordable it was. So that's my number five card. All right. My number four card is the 1972 Clemente card number 309. Um, a lot of baseball fans love this card. Um, it's a, it's a whole different image of Clemente. He's just maybe he's uh he, he's walking to the outfield and just throwing a ball up in the air. Um, you know, he's just he's just thinking about something. It's really an iconic Clemente card and it's very affordable. Um, so an SGC1 is $22 plus shipping. A um, SGC 3.5 cuz I couldn't find a 3 by itself, $33 plus shipping. And then the SGC5 is $47 plus shipping. How crazy. You can have an SGC5 of an iconic player like Clemente for under $55. I just think that's an amazing deal for an iconic card. Um, if I was a baseball fan and didn't have this card, I would definitely pick one up. I actually have an SGC 4.5 in my collection. And I just I love this card. Um, I love how Topps did that design that year. Um, it's just it's just amazing. All right, so on to my number three card. This card is near and dear to my heart. The 1962 Topps card number 10. Wait till you see how cheap this card is for being a 1962 card. First off, I know the wood grain background, either you love it or you hate it. It's just iconic. You know, Topps didn't do this design ever again other than maybe modern cards. I just think Clemente, you got the... Uh, you, you got the uh, the batting cage behind him, and he's just squaring up, showing you his batting stance. Like I said, it's a more early Clemente, and it's just so affordable. Um, so I, an SGC1 is $31 plus shipping. An SGC3 is $41 plus shipping. And an SGC, I couldn't get a 5 by itself, so I got a 5.5. It's $98 plus $5 shipping. So – just a little bit over $100 for a 5.5 of just an iconic card. If, you, if you're looking for value, though, I would be looking at the three, the three range. You're going to get great value there. You're going to be right at $50. Look for a well-centered copy. I just think you cannot go wrong. I think these top three cards, if you love baseball, you love the history of baseball, I just think you should definitely be looking for these cards. Um, I actually have the 62 card in a four. 
and that's a card I got from my dad's collection. But I, uh, I definitely love the 62. And for whatever reason, over the last couple of years, this is one of the few Clemente cards who has actually gone down a little bit in value. Um, the other ones have stayed pretty steady through the pandemic. All right, next is my number two card. And I just, I think if you're, if you're a Clemente and baseball fan, you have to have Clemente's 1973 Tops card. It says, obviously, it's his last playing days card. Um, obviously, after the tragedy, um, it's just he's just sitting there in the batter's box about to swing, and he's just in the shadows kind of. But um, I just I just love the card. you got catcher and umpire in the picture. Dylan from Double D loves that type of card, and I agree with him. Card number 50. So for an SGC2, an SGC2, you're paying $26 plus shipping. And, and I had to do PSA3. I couldn't get an SGC3. PSA3, $41 plus shipping. And then look at the value on an SGC5, $51 plus $5 shipping. $56, you could take home an SGC5 of Clemente's last playing days card. I actually own the uh, an SGC6 of this card. I love this card. It's definitely in my top 10 favorite Clemente cards, even though the value of it's not as high as the other base cards are. I just think anybody would should should pick up this card especially if you just pick up the SGC2 just to own it. All right, last but not least, 1971 Tops, card number 630. I I don't care what anybody says. This is by far the best 1971 Tops card there is. And it's my favorite Clemente card also. So I've talked about this card many times on my channel. It's just iconic. He's got the bat held out. He's got my favorite pirate jersey he wore, the, the yellow cap, uh, the sleeves pulled up. You got the facsimile signature at the end. The pirates were just made for their black borders of the 1971 set. I can, I, it's, it's really crazy to me that some of my friends have some Clemente cards and they don't own this card. I just, I think you should pick it up and it, wait till you see the prices for, for how great of a card it is. For a 1.5, because I couldn't find a one. $34 plus $5 shipping for an SGC3. It bumps you up to $81 plus $5 shipping. And then an SGC5 goes all the way up to $137 and $4 shipping. Obviously, that's my most expensive card I showed today. But if you just want an affordable card, you can look in the one to the two range and get one under $50. I actually have an SGC4 I picked up. And um, once again, it's by far my favorite Clemente card in my collection. I think uh, I think you guys should be out there looking at them. And then I actually made a summary page for everybody. So these five cards, I put um, how much they cost with shipping um, per grade. So if you bought all five of these iconic Clemente cards in a grade of one, some of them were graded two actually. You pay around one hundred and sixty-seven dollars shipped. So you're 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 like. It's very, very affordable. You're under $200 for those five cards. You want, to, you want a grade of three, you're under $300, $296. And then a grade of five is $444. So you're still under $100 per card on a grade of five of these five cards. I, I think that's amazing. I just think that's really cool. All right. So in conclusion, guys, I am very patient. I like to go on eBay. I like to watch things. I... I set myself a limit. I try not to go over that limit. And I try to look at comps and try to go below comps. It, I, I lit I lit stuff like base cards pass by because I know there's more coming. So if you can be patient, if you can look for auctions, if you can offer best offers, you can definitely get these cards for similar prices. I didn't go on there and try to find the, the best price that I saw in the last couple months. I literally tried to find the most recent sale that was an auction just to give you guys a realistic shot of what some of these cards cost. So that would be my advice to you is, is if you like any of these five cards, be patient on eBay and pick some up. And if I, if I missed any Clemente base cards that you feel are affordable and iconic, go ahead and say down below. I'd love to hear people's feedback. Um, you know, there's a lot to pick from. And uh, please, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel and give me a like. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. You have a great day.